topic one day i want to know what it feels like to just not have as many fears as i do now you know to be able to accomplish some things or to have experienced you know some things that maybe i fear doing now i want to be able to just take those off my list and say okay i've done this now so i no longer have this fear or i'm no longer scared of imagining what it would be like to do you know xyz so i feel like for a while i've just been holding on to you know my fears and the main reason is because i've just feared losing my energy i feel like my energy is very sacred to me it's very unique what i'm trying to say is for me it's so important i feel like losing it really scares me you know if i just feeling like if i ever get compromised in life and i become someone i'm not or you know i get exposed for something that i just never wanted to be exposed for i feel like that would cost me my energy and i just don't want to ever be in a situation like that because i just feel like it would take a lot from me you know and i would lose some of my energy if not all i don't know so for a while i've just always held on to my energy very closely and feared letting it go or people taking it away from me because i let the wrong person into my life or i let the wrong group of people into my life so for a while i've just tried to preserve that as much as possible and i think it's benefited me in the sense that i can i feel free to be who i want to be and I don't really have any regrets when it comes to being me and just, you know, doing what I want to do and not feeling like, oh, I can't do this because this person, like, wouldn't like it if I did. And, you know, it's just, you know, holding on to my energy and what it means to actually be me. So, yeah, and I feel like I'm getting to the point where I feel a lot safer, you know, stepping out of my comfort zone and coming out of my shell and feeling like i can still hold on to my energy and not feel like i'm gonna lose it or someone's gonna take it away from me you know i feel like i'm safe in that sense and i can really hold on to it and preserve it for as long as possible um because i feel like that was what was holding me back in like so many different ways and that makes me feel good you guys like I feel like if you really know what I'm talking about, then you will kind of understand that, you know, holding on to something that only you have access to, there's something very powerful about that. And for me, I feel like that's one of the greatest things I can do in this life that I'm living. Like, you know, just holding on to something that I only have access to. And if I give you permission to, then you can have access as well. If not, no one gets access so i feel like that's what i've been trying to do the most just preserve my energy and hold on to it for as long as possible um another thing that gets to me when it comes to my fears is actually dreaming about my fears you guys i dream about my fears sometimes like i i think i think about them subconsciously or you know there's this whole connection between the conscious and the subconscious and i guess when i fall asleep my subconscious becomes conscious in my sleep if that makes any sense and i start to dream about my fears or things that i just wouldn't like to come true in real life and that's it's happened like a couple times now when i'm like what is the psychology behind this you know like it's very it's been very interesting to me to like see that there's really a deep connection between you know your consciousness I and mean, obviously there's levels to it as well like there's literally levels to your consciousness as well like this whole everything is just kind of connected and it's like when i'm sleeping those things rise to my I guess i become conscious about them in my sleep and it's just kind of scary because i'm like you know are these my deepest fears like what if this actually happened to me in real life um will i be able to handle them obviously i'm not really disclosing what my specific fears are 
but I'm just talking about the reality of actually living these fears and I'm just wondering like you know what if that actually came true at some point like how would I react to these fears how would I deal with them you know would I lose my energy or would I still preserve it would I still keep it so sometimes I ask myself these questions and I'm like does this happen to anyone else if it does let me know because then I would feel like okay uh, this is normal but sometimes it's just so intense and dramatic for me to actually be dreaming about my fears like these are things i don't want to be dreaming about but i think they're so deeply instilled in my subconscious that i guess when i fall asleep that's something my that rises you know to my, my consciousness and then i become conscious about it so yeah i think it's really interesting and i feel like obviously i'm in uni right now um but i think when i'm done with my first degree i want to do something a, along the lines that has to do with psychology just kind of get a general idea of what the course would be like to study and um, you know if i could get a certificate in that or a diploma or something related to psychology because i just think it's such an important like field of study and really and truly everyone should like study psychology at some point in their life like it just helps to really understand yourself the people around you why people behave the way they do you know all that like really important stuff that just helps with your awareness so yeah i just wanted to come on here and do a quick chill um chit chat about you know some things some of those things that kind of bother me sometimes you know just holding on to my energy but fear that i might lose it one day because obviously that's what makes me 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 it's my essence and um yeah actually having to dream about my fears like and what that looks like so um if you guys can relate please let me know and yeah um thank you for watching this i will see you guys in the next one bye